In this video, we're going to look at using scientific notation and adjusting the display setting for a Casio FX260 calculator. First, to use scientific notation, you want to find this button that's labeled EXP. So if I want to enter this number into the calculator using scientific notation, I would enter 6.23, the EXP, and then I want to enter minus 9. Notice I don't want to use the 10 raised to the x or the e to the x button. Uh, these buttons accomplish different things. The 10 to the x button takes 10 and raises it to a certain power. While this is accomplished in the scientific notation, the advantage to using the exp button is that it connects the scientific notation with the number so that you're entering this entire number as one quantity into the calculator. So if I want to work this problem, where I'm taking 6.23 nanometers and converting it to meters, I'm going to enter 6.23 divided by, and I can enter 10 to the 9 as 1 e x exp 9. And then this is going to give me 6 times 10 to the minus 9. But notice that the calculator is not displaying the 2 or the 3. Uh, that's because this calculator is currently in the normal display mode. So if I want to change the display mode uh, up here at the top of the calculator, you can see if you hit the mode button, you can change among all of these different modes. Right now we're in mode 9, which is the normal mode. We want mode 8, which is scientific. So if I hit the mode button and the number 8, now I need to tell the calculator how many digits I want the calculator to display. So I can enter, enter some large quantity like 6, and it's going to give me 6 digits. Now the only significant ones are the 6, the 2, and the 3, but I get um, the number displayed to 6 digits. Um, if I want to go back to the normal, I would hit mode and the number 9, and that goes back to the normal display.